going to be looking at lesson 4-1, represent integers. I can use negative and positive integers as well as zero to represent quantities in my everyday life and use a number line to visually represent the quantities. We will also look at the vocab words integers, negative integer, positive integer. This is beginning on page 193 in your math book. Learn. Use integers to represent to represent quantities. An integer is a number from a set. For instance, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, where the quotation marks means continuous, continues indefinitely. So that means there are numbers before negative 3, there are numbers after negative 3. The negative integer is an integer less than 0 and is written with a negative sign. A positive integer is an integer greater than 0 and can be written with or without a positive sign. If you take a look at this example of a number line, a horizontal number line, you will see that here in the center, zero is neither negative nor positive. So zero is not determined to be negative or positive. But any of these numbers on a horizontal number line to the right of the zero are positive integers. They are positive integers and they are greater than zero. So three would be an example of a positive integer. We do not have to put the positive sign in front of it. It's understood that it is positive. It is to the right of zero on a horizontal number line. Negative integers are less than zero. So they are to the left of zero on a number line that is horizontal. Negative three is a negative integer. You could tell by the negative sign in front of the three and it is placed to the left of zero on a, on a horizontal number line. Continuing, page 104, 10, um, I'm sorry, that's 194, here we go. I suppose Annabelle is traveling to different parts of the country. She logs the temperatures for each location. When Annabelle was in Miami, Florida, the temperature was 80 degrees. The same week, she traveled to Caribou, Maine, where it was negative 10 degrees. How could Annabelle represent the positive and negative values in her temperature log? It would be that this video can be shown during class, but also I just wanna talk about this real quick. A negative 10, if it's on a horizontal number line, it would be to the left of zero. If it was on, um, if we're looking at 80 degrees, it would be to the right of zero uh, in a negative number line. How can we represent these? We can say negative 10 can be to the left of zero. 80 can be to the right of zero. Example one on page 194. Use integers to represent quantities. A football team has a 10 yard loss in one play. Here is a key word, loss. Write an integer to represent the situation. Explain the meaning of zero in this situation. So there's two different ways that we can do this. Part A, write an integer to represent the situation. Because the situation represents a loss, the integer is negative. So this keyword loss means it could be a negative number. The integer used to represent the situation would be negative 10. Part B, explain the meaning of zero in this situation. In a football play, the integer zero represents how many yards gained or lost. And in this case, we would say there would be no yards gained or loss. They didn't add to their 
their march towards the goal line. They didn't have yards taken away. Continuing on, I am on page 95 in our book at the top of the page. Check. The elevation of, let me pull this down, there we go. The elevation of Death Valley National Park is the lowest in North America at 282 feet below sea level. Here is a key word, below. Part A, write an integer to represent the situation. Part B, explain the meaning of zero in the situation. So our integer to represent this, we have the keyword below. And so that would give us an indication that it needs to be below zero or a negative number. And we would say it's negative 282 feet. Part B, explain the meaning of zero. Zero is the sea level. I always try to draw a picture of this too. If I have a vertical number line, and you can write this in your book, if I have a vertical number line, Zero here is the sea level. And anything above the water, this would be positive. Anything below zero is below water. So we would say negative 282 would be below zero. That's a good, that's why this keyword or this word here below in the original problem was used so it's below zero it's a key word there so i can take a look at this we know this is above the water this is below the water all right let's go on learn graph integers on a number line Integers and sets of integers can be graphed on a number line. To graph an integer on a number line, place a dot on the number line at its location. Positive numbers are graphed to the right of zero. This is something that you need to take a look and you need to circle or highlight. That's very important. Positive numbers are graphed to the right of zero on a horizontal number line. Or above zero on a vertical number line. So just like what I had up above, these are positive numbers. These are negative numbers. Negative numbers are graphed to the left of zero on a horizontal number line or below zero on a vertical number line. So let's take a look here at these ideas. And I have my colored pencils, so I can color coordinate it. And it says, a set of integers is written using braces such as two, negative three, zero. The set of integers two, negative three, zero is graphed on each number line. So I'm gonna start with orange. And the orange is the two, so I'm going to highlight the two there. And we would know that we have two here and two here. <clears throat> On the horizontal number line, it is to the right of zero. So it is a positive number, and I'm going to write positive above it. And on a vertical number line, it is above zero. So it would indicate that it is a positive number. The next number we're going to look at is three. And three is green. Let me go ahead. This is three. So if I have a negative three, I'm going to put a negative three here and a negative three here. Now let me move it up. There we go. I am sorry. So we have a negative three. And we know that it is negative because the sign plus it is to the left of zero 
on a horizontal number line. On a vertical number line, we know it's negative 3 because we are looking at this number here, negative 3. It is below 0 on a vertical number line. So we know that it is negative. I'm going to put the negative sign above it. The last number we're going to look at <clears throat> is 0. 0 I'll put in blue and blue. So 0 we have here, and that is the indicator that we can take a look at to help us understand whether or not our integers are, ne are negative or positive. If it's negative or positive, no matter if it's on a vertical number line or a horizontal number line. Remember, zero is neither positive or negative. Zero is special all by itself. Going on to page 196 in your book. Example two, graph integers on a number line. Graph the set of integers, oh, sorry. Graph integers on a number line. Graph the set of integers negative four to negative one on the number line. Place a dot at negative four, two, and negative one on the horizontal number line. I am going to use red for that. So I'm going to look at negative 4. Negative 4, if I take a look, I start with 0. Negative 4 means that it should be to the left of 0. And I'm going to put a dot there, negative 4. Two is positive. And if I go to the horizontal number line, if I'm taking a look at two, I am going to say that two should be to the right of zero on a horizontal number line. I'll put a dot above two. So this is positive. This is negative. And negative one. If I find zero, negative one means that it should be located to the left of zero, one place over. I'm going to put a dot above negative one. I'm going to put negative one. I couldn't put negative four. And I can do positive two. Check. Graph the set of integers negative three, one, and zero on a number line. Negative three. 1 and 0. I'll start with 0. That's always a good place to start. So here's my 0. So I've done 0. Let's do negative 3. Negative is to the left of 0. And I have 3 here. So I would go to the left of 0 for 3 places. I would have negative 3. I would put a dot there. And then the last one to do is 1. 1 is positive. So it should go to the right. And so I go to 0 and go over to 1. I always like to make sure that I take a look and start at 0 and then go to either the negative integers or positive integers, depending on what I need to represent 